Hi, dear one. You know, you don't have to worry. I'll say it again, you don't have to worry. Some worries is something that you create in yourself about something else, which in your mind <coughs> might happen. And you don't have to do it. You don't have to actually worry. So what happens if you, you collect some fact, or what you call this fact, and you arrange them in yourself in such a way that causes in you worry. Let's say something in your body is not functioning properly, you have some kind of illness, or maybe with your heart, or lungs, or whatever. So you collect some facts, probably you try to search in Google, and you find which is the worst thing you can do, because Google is not a very good doctor. So you don't want Google to diagnose your health or your medical situation, but that's a different issue. But don't consult Google. But anyway, let's say you do it and you collect some facts and you arrange them in yourself in such a way that what it causes in you is fear. And you kind of project it forward to say, okay, I have this condition and this can develop into this, which is dangerous, which is painful, which, you know, I might die or whatever. But you don't have to do it. The first thing is the fact, or what you call facts, yeah, are not the only facts that are around. Let's say if you have some problem with your heart or with your lungs, but the rest of your body is probably functioning very well. Nothing wrong with it. Your eyes, your, your ears, your being able to touch your legs, your, I don't know, your muscles, your bone, your, so many other things are functioning, you know, brilliant. You know, that, that's only about, you know, you, your body. But then if you look outside, so many other things are functioning, you know, the flowers and the bees and the birds and sunrise and sunset and the planet is rotating around the sun and wow, millions of things are functioning. These are also facts. But what we do, we forget to add them to what you have is only a few facts that causes us to be worried. But if we add all the other facts and we consider the picture actually, or what we call reality, is different. There's many other brilliant things happening in this reality. Lots of sources of hope and help and joy and beauty. So this is one of the things you can do. The other thing is what we do is what you know what we tend to do is we take these selected facts and then we move with them in a certain direction. Say, okay, this is what situation now, and this is what it's gonna to lead to, and this is what it's gonna cause in the future. Who knows? It doesn't have to be this way. It can go this way. Oh, this way, oh, this way, or oh, whatever way, we don't know. So you don't have to do this projection, or specific projection. You just sit quietly. Even with the small amount of facts that you collected, yeah, you can just sit quietly. Say, I don't know what's going to happen. It doesn't mean you don't care. It doesn't mean you don't do anything. But just you don't project it in a certain way. In that way that causes in you fear and anxiety and worries and all this stuff. Yeah? So I don't know. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do this and this and this. And let's see what happens. I'm open. It might develop into something else. It might disappear. It might be, you know, a wonderful experience. It might be a painful experience. It might be both. So just leave it open. So you don't go this way, which is you know narrowing, focusing it into something which is painful. You go this way. Or you just sit quietly and you breathe and you let it happen. And you let yourself be and enjoy what is and do what's necessary about the other stuff. But that's it. You don't have to worry. It's an unnecessary extra. 
Try it. Try it. Be kind to yourself. Yes? Be kind to life. Wishing you all the best. Bye-bye.